All right there. So today we are repairing a Loom Cube LC panel 112. The Loom Cube panel go, that's what it's called. The battery in this broke and I opened it up to see how I can fix this. Now, I went in there with this metal thing here, but I messed up a little bit here at the corner. So you would cut this open and then you can um, split open here at this spot the double-sided tape all the way around it. And then, so I did this already. That's why it's so easy now. Um, there would be double-sided tape here all the way around that. Okay, so let's put this on the side for a moment. And then in here, <clears throat> there is those screws you have to remove. And we have to find out what kind of um, size that is. So I have like a kit with all kinds of different sizes. And I have to figure out which one it is. I think it's this one. Yeah. This is the one we need. And it's T5. That's what it is on here. I don't know. Where's my camera here? If you can see this. If the camera can focus. T5. Okay. And then I have here the wow stick. This thing I don't like much, but uh, in this particular case, it works pretty well. So, in order to open this, you would have to remove those screws. Let's take a quick look at the frame. So, it has space there to get those screws in there, right? So this fits only one way. See this when we open it up. So now we have to get the board out. And in my case, we do have already the new battery on here. The only problem with the new battery is this so let me take this off this battery has a battery management board on it but the loom cube has already a, a management board on here so on the loom cube here that's a battery management board this here is the same as in here so those two interfere with each other, so that's why I have to remove one. That's what I'm going to do now. There's one. And here's the other. So I need to do this here with the battery. Get the wires out without touching them. If I can remember where I have them. I did have dust tools. I think I have dust a trick too. Look at this. Often you can just press a little bit fast, get the glue off. So now it's clean again. That's where we have to glue the battery on again. Yeah, I have this metal hook. It's not a good idea to get in here. You hear my dog crying? What I do here is such a bad idea that even the dog cries. Look at this. Yeah. 
I ripped it off. I have to be so careful with this. Oh, yeah, I'm like 3.6. Yeah, minus. So. Okay, so this one is plus, this one is minus. Pre solder this. and then we can solder it on here. I have so much crap on here. One end, and here's the other. Look at that. This should work here. It does. You see, better is pretty empty. So now we need to just this a few times here so that the cable is good and then we could glue it on like this. But once we do this, there is no going back anymore. So this is double-sided on here now. See, it doesn't fall off anymore. They're perfect. So if we put this in here, like this, it fits. Perfect. Right. There we go. And uh, now in order to get this together, we have to put those uh, buttons in first. And we also make sure that everything in here is clean. No metal or solder stuff in here. If we need to fix this, or if you want to fix this edge here, we should do this. Paint it now, or whatever you want. And then those little um, buttons go in here. <laughs> oh, like so. One. They like to fall out easy, but you can also see why this thing is not waterproof, right? Because there is no seal around those buttons. Now when we insert it, we have to be careful that we don't damage those switches. So we go in like this, shake it down a little bit, 
have to make sure that there is enough space between the button and those little clip things. And we click here. You can hear it. It's very good. So now we need to put the frame on. And as I mentioned before, that has a certain, um, how would you say this? Um, direction, right? So the direction is here, the, um, those screws go only in one way. If you stick them in the other way, they will stick out and uh, they won't be flush. Um, what we also need is, we can use this as a template to see how we need this double-sided tape, if we want to. There's also another method to do this. Okay, so, okay, let's do this here. This goes in here like this, and then we need to put all those screws back in. Okay, that's the next step. So they're all flat. percent flat. So if we put this here you now, it is gonna work. Okay. Let's take this back out. And now we are working on the double sided tape. Why don't we do a test charge here to see if it still charges? Five volt in, and then this thing should show charge activity. It shows the charge is plugged in, and I have to assume a charge. I don't know how the charge uh, thing is going to go. The charge circuit here, how this usually displays. Full light here. When you plug in, it should charge. Okay. It shows charge simply. So let's see. We will see how that goes. And now we prepare the tape. Now we have to take the foil off. There's one. I think this is about to be the hardest. You know? Last one goes here. Doesn't want to come loose. There it is. Look at that. It comes off. There. And then this has to be clean. It is. And it goes in the hole here. Okay. It's down a lot. So, now it's good again. Look at this. Fixed light. Four minutes. And charging. So we're gonna see how long this charges. It will probably take a while. So if you're really serious about your repair, you use one of those USB digital testers. 
can I zoom in here? Oops. And there you see that we have 4.9 volt coming in and we charge with 0.97 amps. So almost one amp we charge in this thing. So the charging is working, so it gets power in there. So far we charged 18 milliamps in there and it took two minutes. Um, so we now we have a 2500 milliamp battery in here. And so if we charge with one amp, that means two and a half hours it will take to charge. And then once it's done charging, we're gonna check on here if that makes sense, you know? Not that you pump in like four amp into a two amp battery, twice as much, then there's something wrong. But so if it's like, you know, this battery we drained pretty dead yesterday. And you know, if you charge 2000 in this thing, 2500, 400, no, if it's a 2500, maybe 2400 or 300 in that range, like really get stuff in there. So, uh, yeah, the, as I said, if you're serious about your repair, you check if this makes sense, what goes in and what comes out. And uh, yeah, that is the final thought on this one.